one thing that I've always been interested with Quentin Tarantino because like he is like a well respected director by pretty much like everybody yeah. that appreciates movies. Yeah. White people, black people, Hispanic people. But like he does like just use the N word like just so I don't even want to say nonchalantly, but like he does plug that in with characters where it was like you know, there really wasn't any need for him to be racist. I wonder if it's going back to the point of Scorsese using a lot of racial slurs. It's because he's showing these people aren't good people and they would use these horrible words Yeah, to show that, hey, the, by the way, these are not good people. Well, l l listen to how they talk. You do have to think about... Um, so they blow Marvin's head off and then Jules just happens to have a buddy like down the road from him. Yeah. And he seems like a nice, normal guy whose wife's like coming from the graveyard shift right. at the hospital... But the fact of the matter is, if he's friends with Jules, he can't be that good of a guy. He can't just be casual friends with somebody. He's some type of criminal. Yeah. Maybe not even... Yeah. I mean, one could assume Something. criminal, but like, he, yeah, he's not a good guy by any means. Yeah. But it is interesting that he Tarantino writes the N-word to a character that he plays himself. Yeah. For no really good reason. Maybe it's just a way to like make the actors feel more comfortable but i don't really understand like <laughs> what the the mindset of that would be and like don't worry Samuel I'm jackson gonna i'm gonna be saying it right to you but in and, and his character is married to a black lady so maybe he thinks there's some kind of past there i wonder what tarantino's like actual thoughts are when he writes these scripts like this because he grew up Going like, to black theaters. Yeah, he went to go to black like theaters. The, his mother dated a lot of black dudes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's obviously, he's clearly not a racist person. But yet he still always chooses to write the hard R. Yeah, and it's not just this movie. I remember it said in Reservoir Dogs. I remember there's a character that says it in True Romance. It's actually, it's Dennis, Dennis Hopman's character. Dennis Hopkins. I don't know. No, 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 Dennis Hopkins. Oh my God. Is it Dennis Hopman? We have to get Hopper, this right. Dennis Hopper. It's Dennis Hopper. Okay. Holy shit. Dennis Hopper's character. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. He just like has a whole story where he's just saying the N word to these <laughs> to these guys and he knows the more that he says it to them, they're gonna kill him. They're Sicilians. And that but it's just it's weird. It was like, why? Yeah, I wonder if that's just his signal to let us know that these aren't good people, because look look at the language they're using. Yeah. So, so casually. I would just, I would assume so. Now, when you go and you look at a movie like Django, that's completely different. 100%. That, that is just going for how realistic. Historical accuracy. Right. Just how bad like people were. Yeah. That's what he's showing. He's yeah. like highlighting what the evil people look like. Yep. And, well, and just understand that like Quentin Tarantino, I mean, it's not like universally accepted. Like I remember I saw... um there's like this interview, I think we've talked about this before, but not on the podcast, or maybe we even have, but there's a video of like Cat Williams being found like kind of stumbling outside of a bar, and he's pretty drunk. You can tell by the way he's slurring his words, but he's like calling out Quentin Tarantino about Django. He was like, I don't know who the fuck gave him permission to use the N-word or like a record-breaking amount of times, but it sure as hell wasn't me or any of my people. And he was like, it's Samuel Jackson. Jamie Foxx, like, y'all aren't safe. Like, he can't hide behind y'all forever. Like, he was saying some shit like that. So yeah. it's not like, it's just accepted. Like, there are people that don't like it. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's right. not that appealing of a stat. Like, you yeah. literally broke a record with the amount of N-words in your movie. And yeah. you're a white dude. You're like, kind of weird. Yeah. Like, it's really had to break the record. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have had it in there a few times <laughs> for the historical accuracy, but you had to break the record, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of valid. So you could, yeah, so you could, one could take that side. It was like, you know what? I guess, like, I mean, like, did he go into it with the intention of breaking the record? <laughs> like, do you think he that looked, was on his goal? Do you think he, like, looked it up? He was like, holy shit, I could, I could break that in the first hour and a half. I'm only 10 short. I yeah. can fix that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it hilarious. Just makes, it just makes you wonder, especially because of a movie like this. Quentin Tarantino, the character that he plays, did not have to say what he said. 